human values lessons from great leaders reformers and administrators this is a place where you can uh, uh, create all your buffer and filler points have them ready enak engiya adu point therilana nadula you say that this is a great man this great man is like this like this so because he is like this like this i will also do like this like this you can write something like that and that is a very valid strong point i'm just telling it in a funny way but legitly that is how you understand ethics ethics does not come come from the air ethics comes from a certain set of socialization and certain set of cultural and political context so that way your political context or your social culture is all determined by all these great reformers and administrators for example we we respect swami vivekananda very much and all of us in our childhood and school days we have learned about this uh, chicago speech where he went and said uh, like all my brothers and sisters now that is something that was very radical for the age he did but for our society it was common because we live this philosophy of vasudeva kudumbagam or if you go with uh, abdul kalam's word then you have yadu mure yavaram keli that was told by some other tamil poet i know it because abdul kalam sir said it in uh, european parliament okay so just to set context clear so since we from come from this kind of tradition uh, what swami vivekananda said in chicago became became very huge and that is now a very historical landmark moment or moment similarly another speech that i will always remember is the i have a dream speech of martin luther king junior why do i know that speech it was somewhere there in my eighth standard ninth standard book back in the day when i read that that thing just got stuck in my head i don't think i will forget it uh, till i die so like this all of you have been exposed to certain kind of ideals certain set of people so you have your own list of people so you have to list down those people what is the thing that you remember about that person and then connect it to the keywords we saw here we saw all these keywords no for all the great personalities you can say all this is applicable because they are all the ideal men and women of this country and the world so how would that ideal men or women will have any negative qualities you can be one of these uh, this illuminati kind of uh, controversial uh secret society kind of uh, thinking and say that no no this person had this kind of uh, behavior that person had that kind of behavior at least for the exam don't have whatever you have keep it with you don't write it on paper ideal men and women have are seen as ideal because they epitomize or they personify the best behavior in society best ideals in society so you just look up to them you try to emulate how they behave you try to understand their point of view and you try to walk in their footsteps when you walk in their footsteps is when you also get a chance to attain that greatness that buddhist concept of bodhisattva bodhisattvas walk in the path of buddha they help other people to reach enlightenment no it's the same thing that's a, that's a religious way of saying it these great leaders and reformers following gandhi or nehru or patel is another it's a, it's a realistic way of doing things in society not all of us are going to become monks not all of us are going to become fathers and priests in in different different institutions we are all people living our common life having certain responsibilities familial personal private everything work based everything so you are living within a certain context and you have restrictions so all these great men we talk about also live with also lived within the same context the same restrictions and yet they got this name as being the ideal people in this country, in the society and the country so that is what they want to teach you and this is what they expect in the paper also the essence of what i told is expected in the paper how do you bring about this essence is through examples now this example different people have strategies of using different uh, uh, like some use ias officers what they did in when they were district collectors some use ips officers and talk about them using sahaim as an example is very common but what i am telling is you, to get those very specific examples you have to go research now do you have the time most of us won't there is enough to be done in gs 1 to 3 so most of us won't have So what I'm telling is, go with the personalities you have already learnt in your life, your school life and your college life. So that way, I have a list of people. Nothing fancy. All of them are very common names that all of you would know. I will just list them out and tell you how to include them in the uh, paper itself. 